Hello YouTube. We are at the 2017 Shawano County Fair Crawford Center Car Show. This is a continuation. Last year I had a video on my YouTube channel with all the cars from 2016. Well, here we are again. Some noticeable differences, but a lot of the same cars. First of all, you'll notice a Texaco 19 20 four-wheel drive oil com oil company moose yard wisconsin that's a new that's a four-wheel drive vehicle from the 1920s pretty impressive and as we move down the first car is a 1940 ford and that is john brenner's car that is one beautiful car. I'll try to get over here to get beyond the tape. Beautiful paint job. And then this car was here last year also, but I love the paint on this. This is a 1936 Ford Coupe, and that paint is just stunning. Every angle you look at it looks different. And the next car, this car was also here last year. This is an original 1974 Dodge Roadrunner. It's only got 50,000 miles on it. Beautiful car. And as we move down, this is interesting because this is one of two 79 Dodge trucks that's a little red express. Very, very nice vehicle. Burt Huntington 69 Chevelle. Beautiful car. And this was here last year. Nice Chevelle SS. And then his wife, Carol Huntington, her 69 Chevelle SS. Another beautiful, but this is a rag top. Beautiful car. And that is an impressive. Chevy Corvette from 1857. Can't see who the owner is, but beautiful car. Let's see if I can get a little better angle on that. And I'll move down. And we got a 68 Chevy Camaro SS. Another gorgeous car. Another 69 Chevy Corvette SS. And then one really impressive, a true 77 Pontiac Trans Am Bandit. Beautiful car. I met the owner of this car. He is very passionate about it. Okay, I'll stop. And we're back, and this is a beautiful Raytop 57 Chevy. Beautiful car. Always impressive. I'm not a big Chevy fan, but boy, this 57 Chevys are amazing. Okay, and moving right down. Um, boy, I this one isn't tagged, and I'm not sure. But boy, that, that brown paint is impressive. It's... I want to see the logo. Oh, that is a Plymouth. Wow, I love the I love the uh, the hood ornament there. That is really gorgeous. And here we come to another car that was here last year, a 1970 Plymouth Cuda. And I'm not sure if this is a kit car or if this is an actual Cuda. I don't recall. And I believe this car was here too. This is a 72 Chevy Nova. Another beautiful car. And I don't think this car was here last year. The 1969 Chevy Chevelle. It's quite a unique paint job. Beautiful. And another Trans Am. Another 1977. Pontiac Trans Am, gorgeous car. 
1833 Plymouth. And isn't that a beautiful, boy, purple paint job. That is just gorgeous. Another beautiful hood ornament on that thing. Lovely car. And then we move to a 76 Cadillac. I remember seeing this guy outside with this when he drove up. Beautiful car. And then this car was here too, a 1955 Chevy wagon. And this is, oh, a 1929. Oh, I love the the brush patina look of the black paint. That's a beautiful car too. Dodge. is a 1949 Studebaker that was here last year also very nice car I know the gentleman I talked to him last year quite a mod car but beautiful car and then we're gonna move over here and we have a 39 1939 Ford rat rod that is impressive Sneak bass again. <laughs> Another beautiful car. You gotta love these rat rods. They're pretty cool. And this was one that I didn't wasn't here last year. Uh, 57 VW bus. Pretty cool though. You don't find too many with the original windows. And look at how the windows actually lift up on the windshield. Pretty bizarre. And I believe this was here last year, this small 1990 Kenworth. It's a little mini racer. It's got five horsepower. Look out all you racing fans. And then let's see, we move past Oh wow, that is like a mini racer. Huh, quite the vehicle. Looks like a high, Shano high, oh, it's a Shano high School shop project. Huh, isn't that something? And of course, what car show wouldn't be a car show without a full out drag racing. That is impressive. All right, on to the next ones. All right, now we're down to my favorite, which of course is my car. <laughs> 2016 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack, all black. And I put out my specialized sign, which I'll kind of jump in here. It says 392 Hemi. And stainless steel with the scat pack B and the Ford and Chevy symbol in the dust. Sorry, Ford and Chevy owners, but that's my baby. Second year in the car show. And then we move to the left here. What we have is a 1983 Lincoln Town car. Now, this is originally owned by my uncle Harry who is willing it to my son, Brandon Wooler. And you can probably see the sign that says, owner Brandon Wooler. Interesting story how this got into the car show. But another shiny example of the mid 80s, that is one beautiful car. And then we have over here a 63 Ford Galaxy four-door beautiful car and it's for sale for eight thousand hmm. and we move 
on to another 67 Chevy Camaro. And I believe this was at the car show last year. A lot of these cars are owned by people who are part of the Shano Car Auto Club, of which I am a member also. And then a 1990 Chevy Corvette. Another beautiful example. Nice wing on the back. Oh, it has quite some decals on the side there too. And then over here we have a 72 Chevy Camaro. You don't see an awful lot of these in this condition at least. That's beautiful. And guess what? A 77 Pontiac Trans, Trans Am. Uh, another bandit car and a beautiful uh, the decal on the hood is just gorgeous oh. yes. and that is beautiful hot rod I'm not sure if that's Plymouth or Ford but I love that, again, that dull patina black. It just is, it has this gloss look to it that's kind of cool. And another Corvette, I'm not sure of the year of this. Oh, 79th, oh, 1995, 79th Indianapolis 500. Oh, this must have been a pace car or an anniversary car. Cool. And we move over here. And we have another rat rod. A 1928 Chevy. It's always interesting to see these. They always look a little eh, junky, but they're made to drive. And the, the look is kind of cool. And a cutlass. Here is that 1977 Oldsmobile cutlass. That's pretty neat. And a chal or Challenger, excuse me, Charger RT, 1968. I believe that car was here last year. And. This is cool, a 55 Chevy Bel Air. Very nice. Two tone, hard top, wow. And this car was here last year, a Chevelle SS, a 1971. Beautiful car. the end of this row and here we have a coronet this is a second car right behind me Thursday morning and this is interesting because it was a 318 Corvette the guy pulled the engine put a 2004 5.7 liter Hemi in the engine and then he badged it as an RT Hemi it is a convertible it's a nice car that's a little bit of a interesting configuration. So, and on to the next. And this is a 62 Buick with Saber. I don't think this was here last year. Um, boy, that's a shining example of a Buick. Everything looks pristine on that. Wow. And, oh, it has two four girls on there interesting nice and then we have this is a DeSoto but I'm not sure what year he doesn't have a badge another beautiful car 
beautiful. And then Ford Fairlane 500 with 63. I'm always amazed that people can keep an old car like this so clean. No driving in the winter for any of us. Another beautiful, nice interior too. And next we have a 55 Ford Thunderbird. Beautiful. And that's a convertible too, which I'm not surprised. And a 57 Chevy. Wow, that is a beautiful pickup truck too. And this is a 95 Camaro Z28 convertible. Not bad. And another VW a bug 1972. Interesting choice for the car show, but everybody likes their own style of car. And this is the homemade Leo Frank or rat rod that's been here a couple of times. Well, I think this third or fourth year it's been here. Pretty impressive. And then we have the 46 Chevy Sun Drop truck, the Leo Frank car. And it has the Moussiard bottling on the side of it. Quite the interesting vehicle. And then we have, this is Larry Gas Chevy. This vehicle is amazing for a real reason that it was in a fire and just completely destroyed and Larry Gas rebuilt it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking on the video, so. And this is, I think this is Dick's, yeah, this is Dick's vehicle, one of the coordinators. That's another, that's been here several years. Beautiful car, beautiful coupe. And then we have a 1949 Chevy half ton pickup. 1949. Nice wood rails on the on the back bed. Another beautiful car. And last in this row is a 1949 Chevy pickup truck. And an interesting mm, horse green and another interesting set of rails on the back. So and here we are in the last row, a 1955 Chevy. And I love the graphics on that. Boy, that it's pretty cool how the silver fades back to kind of a maroon cloud in the back. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then it goes to green way in back. Interesting. Another beautiful pickup truck. And then we move to a 1952 Chevy sedan delivery truck. Wow. Another cool graphic on the side of the panel. Very nice. And I've seen this car several times. This is a 66 Pontiac Bonneville. Boy, that was when they were big boats. I kind of like the headlights on top of each other jutting out. But nice, I, I gotta admit, I like the flames on this. 
flames on a car never seem to work, but these are so subtle and they are really gorgeous. Let's see if I can kind of get up close so you can see. Huh, beautiful. Another side shot of that. And then we have, this is nice, Let's see, a 1923 Ford Model T, oh, street rod, wow, impressive, oh, they call it a tea bucket, huh, wonder what, what it's like to drive that, pretty cool. And the last car has, of course, a Cadillac, a 63. Boy, that is one long, long car. Oh, that's a Sedan DeVille. I would say you could have a party in that car. There's enough room. Boy, fins and everything. Pretty impressive. Let's see if I can get the tail end of that. Wow, nice. I'll go to the front of it. Wow. And how about a panoramic of the Entire car show, lots of people walking through. Pretty big facility and lots and lots of cars. I was told there was a total of 61 cars. I can't be certain of that, but I believe that probably is right. And now I'm going to do one more thing. I'll start at the beginning and do a quick walkthrough of each aisle. Okay, as stated, here's a quick walkthrough down each aisle, nothing more, I'm not going to stop at any car, but just walk through, may bounce a little, I'm trying to hold it as steady as possible. Hey Mark. Now 
we'll move over to the next tile. And That is it. The 2017 Shawano County Fair Crawford Center Car Show. I did fail to mention this is the second Little Red Express. I kind of missed this one. <laughs> 